Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. You might notice, first of all, uh, I've got the old little grab cam on the go at the moment. That is because uh, today's video, oh, I'll just feed Boston. There you go, boy. There you go. Um, today's video is a food fear, and the food is a century egg, and I need to go to an Asian supermarket to acquire it. So uh, let's go for a little drive. All right, so uh, century eggs are basically eggs. Um, I'm trying to work out how to explain this. They're like eggs that aren't a century old, I don't think. They're like a couple of weeks old, maybe a few weeks, maybe a month. Uh, they're also known as thousand year old eggs, and they're definitely not a thousand years old. Uh, they look pretty kind of weird. So we've got to go up to Bristol, uh, which is about 20 miles from my house, go to this massive Asian supermarket and see what they're like. So let's get going. This is why I like working from home. Like I've moved about five minutes in like half an hour. The joys of the commute! Ah! Happy Robin. Happy <laughs> Robin. We're gonna sip a garden like this your birthday. Here we are then, folks. Wai Yi Hong Oriental Supermarket. That is where my eggs are. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. Some like really cool packaging and stuff, but uh, I must find the eggs. I'm getting like bewildered. Right, so that was a pretty successful haul. I wanted to stay in there for hours, um, but the eggs are showing a bit. They look pretty quirky indeed. I also bought something called a mama cup, which is like a sea rice uh, thing in a pot. A uh, boy bawang, like a sweet corn snack, and some fortune cookies. Let's get back home. Here we are then, folks. Home sweet home. Uh, I did try some of that boy bawang uh, sweet butter flavoured corn, and it tastes just like ice cream. Uh, I'm definitely going to nibble on some more of that later. Also, I opened up my fortune cookie, and I kid you not, the uh, fortune was Tuesday is your lucky day and today is actually Tuesday. So maybe I will uh, like these eggs after all. Um, I've opened them up and I had a look already. They're very cold and weighty, kind of like a dinosaur egg and like sort of speckly look like that. Looks ill, it's the best way I'm gonna say it, but it is really, really heavy. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look to find out a bit more about these. Yeah, so according to Huffington Post, uh, century eggs are preserved eggs, AKA thousand year eggs or millennium eggs. They're not preserved for a thousand or millennium years. It's a few weeks to a few months and it involves soaking the eggs in a saline solution. Duck, quail or chicken eggs are used. I've got duck and the solution contains clay or salt or sometimes ash quicklime or rice. Uh, it causes the yolk of the eggs to take on a creamy cheese-like texture and transforms the white into a dark colored jelly. So I think I'm actually ready to go with this and apparently if I like boiled eggs, I will like these. And I do like boiled eggs. I'm not actually intimidated by this. If you know what balu is, that's something that does intimidate me and it is egg related. But I know my good friend Stuart Ashen, boom, uh, has actually tried these before. So I'm gonna just call him. He doesn't know that I'm ringing him. I'm really disappointed that your voicemail doesn't say, hello, uh, mate, I'm just about to have a century egg and I know that you're the expert, but you're obviously filming some sort of tap box. So uh, wish me well, mate, goodbye. Looks like we're doing this on our own then, folks. So I'm gonna take one egg, I have a plate here. Uh, there is an enormous one right there. I think we'll take the middle one because we don't want it to be like uncenturied, if that makes sense, half a century, I don't know. This one, we're gonna just, I don't know, just tap it. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh wow, okay. Okay, so the shell, oh my gosh. Can you see that little bit of black coming out? That must be the black jelly. Uh, the actual outer shell does remind me of the tiling in my bathroom, randomly. I'm taking my time with this and peeling like a, the initial shell off. And there is a very sort of thin membrane shell coming off too to reveal that lovely jelly. I kind of want to do that trick with a hard boiled egg where you blow it really hard and it just pops out, but I think we want to savor this moment. Alrighty. <laughs> That, my friends, is a gone-off egg. Uh, there is that black jelly uh, that we were talking about then. It kind of looks like one of those uh, like jellified sort of candles. I want to put a wick in it and just light it and give off the smell of gone-off egg. Yeah, that is pretty potent. It's not like ridiculously strong. Definitely odor oof. I'm just gonna bring you in close, as you can see on the camera, and just slice down. Oh my gosh. Oh good gosh, look at that. It's like a solar system or something. It's fair to say my confidence has taken a little bit of a batter in there. I was expecting it to be this jelly bit and then just the one color yolk in the middle. But instead, uh, we've got this different stages of yolk preservation by the looks of it, almost like a bad sort of tie-dye yolk sort of thing going on. Um, it does smell like mildly like a stink bomb, but it's not too bad. It does look like the Indiana Jones Temple of Doomstones. Um, I guess I better eat it. I don't know if that's right, but None of this is feeling right right at the moment. 
probably better hear that. That's Boston having some water. Uh, I'm having some water too to freshen my palate. In fact, let me see if he uh, likes the smell of it. Right, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this, but I will, do want to get the opinion of someone else or something else. Have a smell. You want that, don't you? Okay. And I'm gonna wash my hands and give him a dog biscuit for helping out. Okay, so if the pug's gonna eat it, I will too. That smell is not getting any better. I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go, right through the middle, half of it. Oh, this is one of the weirdest things I've ever eaten in my life, surprisingly. It is that creaminess is it's all right. It's not, it's, I think it's more of a, like a visual thing that, that doesn't taste to me like a boiled egg. It's something completely different. The jelly has a real different dimension of texture. Like the, te the jelly in itself, that's a bit pointless. That's like eating a rubber band or something. It's just, there's no need for it. <coughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't smell it directly like that as much, but this creamy bit, I'm going to try this. The former yolk that's turned green, that's the thing that makes you sort of, I'm making these faces because it's, I'm, I'm looking at this, but the taste, it's all right. It's, it's almost more, it's not savory, but it's kind of sweet as well. It's very mild. I'm not gonna lie, folks. I have taken my time over that, but I have finished that entire half. And I actually kind of like it. Um, if you can get over, this is the other half, the visual element of it and the smell, it is like stink bomb, something like that. But then again, it's an egg, isn't it really? It is just kind of bland. It does need seasoning, salt, pepper. I can see why you'd serve it with ginger or slice it up with other things uh, traditionally, but I had to take this on one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So I do like it. The creamy bit in the middle is kind of like a very weak butter maybe. It just tastes a bit pointless on its own. That's the only thing I can say, but I really would suggest that you guys get hold of some century eggs and have a go for yourself and you know see what you think. And for me personally, it's opened my eyes to the world of Asian food and I would actually really like to come out to Asia, you know, Japan, China, wherever, and like really get stuck in because things like this are amazing. So uh, I might look into that. Anyhow, folks, that is my food fear done. The old century egg is a success. Give it a go and um, any food fears you've got, let me know down below.